Hi everyone, it's Sal here. Welcome back to another perfume video. I hope you're doing well. So today I'm going to be telling you all about my top 10 perfume picks, which you can purchase for under £30. Before we get started today, get yourself comfortable and grab yourself a drink and a snack. I have my Pukka vanilla chai tea here and it's really very nice. Okay, so the 10 perfumes I have to show you today are all fantastic fragrances. Um, even though they're all extremely affordable, none of these, in my opinion, smell too cheap. Um, some of them do a little bit, but overall they're all actually very enjoyable fragrances. I am actually quite picky myself when it comes to affordable perfumes. If they smell really obviously cheap, then chances are I'm just not going to be interested in them. So just be rest assured that all of these perfumes I'm going to show you today, they are actually really good. Okay, so the first one I have to show you today is Viva La Juicy. This is just the original. Now, um, the reason I picked this one up actually is because I tried a tester of the Zerjoff fragrance Gran Ballo and I'd heard here and there that um, that fragrance and Viva La Juicy smell very, very similar. I discovered that, in my opinion, they were dupes, basically. I have done a full dedicated video on that. I'll leave a link to that video up here in case you're interested to see. Um, but this fragrance to me smells very, very similar to Gran Ballo by Zerjoff. And even if that wasn't the case, I still think that this is a very nice fragrance in its own right. So this is a really nice, sweet, girly um, fragrance with your notes of caramel in here. There's some florals, there's berries. You really get that honeysuckle mingling in with the caramel, the gardenia, the berries. It's just such a smooth, sweet, uh, kind of uplifting, happy-go-lucky, girly fragrance in my opinion. It's just so nice and perfect for springtime as well, actually. So the time of year at the moment, I think, is just perfect for this fragrance. And to me, it really smells an awful lot like Gran Ballo. So if you were interested in getting a really affordable dupe for that fragrance, I would pick this one up for sure. I'm so glad I bought this one. Oh, it's just so beautiful. It's got that warm, honey-like nature to it. Really, really smooth. Really flirty. Just, this reminds me of a really bubbly, happy-go-lucky kind of girl. To me, this is quite a youthful fragrance, but of course, perfume is ageless, so anybody can wear what they want. But just um, to give you an idea of the mood that this fragrance evokes, I would say it's definitely more on the youthful side. Beautiful, sweet, creamy, gardenia, honeysuckle, caramel, sweet, girly fragrance. And it's absolutely wonderful. You can pick this one up for a really affordable price on discount sites. I think I picked this one up from All Beauty. But I do think that you can also pick this one up from Natino, Fragrance X, all those other perfume sites. And it's just a wonderful fragrance. I also really like the bottle as well. I just, I think it's a really nice, um, fun presentation of the fragrance and I do think that the look of the bottle goes quite well with the scent. To be quite honest with you as well, I don't actually think this smells too cheap. Obviously it has that kind of um, carefree nature to it, it's a very sweet, girly, uh, it's, not, it's not refined, it's not elegant or anything like that, but I wouldn't say that it smells cheap, if you know what I mean. It just smells very very pleasant, almost like one of those sweet shampoo-like kind of smells really beautiful. I absolutely love this one. So that is the original Viva La Juicy. Next up today we have the beautiful Gold Couture from Viva La Juicy. Now this one, as you can imagine, it's not a million miles away from the original Viva La Juicy fragrance. You really get that vanilla and caramel with this fragrance, but it's not what I would consider to be a heavy vanilla caramel scent. It's still overall quite light. It has that similar kind of weight to it as the original Viva La Juicy. They both have very similar uh, feelings to them, if that makes sense. This is overall very sweet. Again, very carefree, youthful, bubbly, girly, flirty, that kind of thing. Just really beautiful. I'm pretty sure there's some red berries in here as well. I get a slight fruity touch to this fragrance. If you're trying to choose between these two Viva La Juicy fragrances, I would say if you're more into your florals, so your honeysuckle, your uh, gardenia, things like that, then I would definitely check out the original Viva La Juicy, because to me those notes are a bit more prominent. But if you're more into your gourmand scents, so your um, berries, your vanilla, your caramel, really sweet kind of fragrances, then I would check out Gold Couture, because I would say this one um, is leaning slightly more towards the vanillic and uh, caramel aspects of the fragrance. 
truly beautiful you guys again this is a fantastic affordable perfume because it's just it's just so good it's the perfect kind of sweet girly flirty scents and it really does not break the bank at all extremely affordable um again beautiful packaging i think it's really fun um just really nice to have these both together on your vanity on your desk or something because they just look so extra they just look so girly and i absolutely love them Again, I would say this fragrance almost has that similar kind of honeyed feeling about it. It's a sweet, smooth, almost slightly honeyed aspect to it. I don't know, maybe this one has um, honeysuckle in it as well. I can't quite remember which florals are in this fragrance, but it does have that same almost hint of a honey aspect about it. But overall, they're both very light scents um, and they're really very enjoyable. So that is Viva La Juicy Gold Couture. Next up today we have another really fun, sweet, girly scent and that is none other than the beautiful Britney Spears Private Show. Now this is a really nice fragrance to try. I would say it's kind of a must try just because of how affordable it is. I think I picked this one up for around £13 and I have to say I was very pleasantly surprised. Now this perfume is really quite different to anything I've tried before to be honest with you because it has a very prominent um kind of lactonic milky latte uh sort of accord in there with the dolce de leche which is um a sort of dessert it's like a a, a caramel cheesecake dessert as well so there's that sort of note in here and overall this is just a really nice milky creamy lactonic sweet gourmand kind of fragrance. To me this just smells as though you have a plate of um, desserts in front of you so you have your kind of toffee caramel cheesecake and also a sweet creamy latte next to that and all of the smells are kind of intermingling together and you get this fragrance. It's truly a very nice gourmand scent, it's not too heavy either, it's actually quite light, definitely very lactonic, very sweet, very creamy, almost like a very very milky latte. The coffee in here isn't overly strong, in fact I don't really detect much coffee at all. It's almost like a really really milky latte with um, a very subtle hint of coffee in there. Really enjoyable fragrance, I've actually been reaching for this one a lot recently, particularly when I'm going to bed um, or just in the evenings or just around the house, that kind of thing. It's just such a nice sweet treat and something that I actually told myself to remember to mention in this video um, is the lasting power actually is very good with this fragrance. So on skin I would say it's kind of soft to moderate but actually on your clothes it lasts a very long time because I wore this one the other night actually. I sprayed it before bed and then the next morning I got whiffs of this beautiful sweet scent and I was kind of thinking what is that and then I realised it was this fragrance left over from the previous night when I'd sprayed it kind of all over because I sprayed it all over my clothes as well and the scent definitely lingered um, through the night into the morning which was a really pleasant surprise. So I would say the lasting power on this fragrance is definitely very good especially considering the price. Um, the scent itself is really very pleasant. If you're a gourmand scent lover or if you just enjoy sweet fragrances and you haven't yet tried this I would really highly recommend it especially because it's so affordable. Um, I think the bottle itself is really cute. I really like this kind of faceted glass um, jewel effect to the bottle and it's all around just a fantastic fragrance you guys. So that is Britney Spears Private Show. I'm sorry if you can hear the background noise there, I've had to open a window quite wide just to let some air in here because it's really warm. Um, but I'm sorry if you can hear the background noise. So next up today we have this beauty here, Aphrodisiac from Anne Summers. Now this is, in my opinion, one of the best affordable seductive fragrances that you can possibly find. This is almost like um, if you took Viva La Juicy and uh, created a more mature, musky, deep, rich um, and seductive version, then this is what you would get. In fact, I actually did try Viva La Juicy Noir, so, you know, the nighttime version of it and I wasn't really that blown away. Um, it was kind of just a light, it was it had that similar light feeling to the original Viva La Juicy. I was expecting it to be a bit richer, a bit deeper, but it wasn't really in my opinion. Um, however, this fragrance here is almost what I hoped Viva La Juicy Noir would be. 
so I absolutely love this one. The muskiness in here is quite beautiful, I would say. It's not overpowering, but it's definitely still there. Just really, really divine. I think there's some berries in here. Sort of a sweet, dark, rich, musky, floral, slightly fruity fragrance, and it's just divine. Really affordable as well. I'm pretty sure you can get this fragrance at around the £20 mark, which considering how good the scent is and how beautiful the bottle is and everything like that, I would say it's a complete bargain. The lasting power on this fragrance is actually incredible as well, you guys. Um, I know that's something that I get asked about a lot. I know for many of you, lasting power is actually very important. It's kind of important to me as well, but it's not something that I pay an awful lot of attention to sometimes. But with this one, I've really noticed actually the lasting power is quite good. This is quite a strong scent overall. Very, very feminine as well, I would say. Extremely feminine, very flirty, very seductive. Definitely, um, definitely a nighttime scent to me. I mean, I would wear this anytime to be honest, but the mood that this one evokes, I would say it's very reminiscent of a dark, rich, mature, seductive, like nighttime kind of fragrance, if you know what I mean. Just utterly divine. Um, I would highly recommend this one if you can find it. I know Anne Summers, they still have this on their website, I believe, but it's in a different packaging. They changed the bottle, um, so it looks slightly different to the one that I have because I got this a long time ago. Um, but they do still have it on their website, I believe, and it's really very affordable. Absolutely fantastic fragrance, really. Um, so that's Aphrodisiac from Anne Summers. Next up today we have the beautiful Pure Royale number 359 from Frederico Mahora. Now I was so ecstatic to discover this fragrance you guys because it's actually a dupe for Alien Essence Absolute and it's a very good dupe at that I will say. So I've been able to try the real deal so I've had um, the opportunity to try a sample of the real Alien Essence Absolute and I can say that they do smell fairly similar. This one is a bit softer overall, it doesn't quite have the same punchiness to it as the original and I would say that this one, the dupe, leans more towards the vanilla than the jasmine um, but overall, especially especially upon the first spray, it actually smells extremely similar to Alien Essence Absolute. Um, of course that's a stunning fragrance so I was really over the moon to be able to acquire this fragrance. This was very kindly sent to me from Frederico Mohora to review. I've done a full dedicated review on it as well. If you're interested, I'll try and remember to link it up here. Just so beautiful, womanly, flirty, seductive. Alien DNA in there, so that really rich, sort of slightly indolic, animalic jasmine. The beautiful, warm, almost slightly spicy vanilla in here. Absolutely stunning, you guys. Truly a beautiful fragrance and you get a 50ml bottle for a really very affordable price on the Frederico Mahora website. Really fantastic dupe for Alien Essence Absolute. Really affordable. The actual quality of this fragrance as well is really nice. It doesn't smell cheap in the slightest. It smells fantastic quality. Just so alluring, so beautiful and um, perfect for a date night or any time to be honest. So that is Frederico Mahora Pure Royale number 359. Oh, I recently had my hair cut and I can't quite get used to it. <laughs> um, let me know what you think in the comments. It's quite different to how I had it before and it's really a lot shorter. I didn't realise how much shorter it was until now when I actually saw it in my camera. For some reason when I looked in the mirror it still looked quite long. Um, but now I'm seeing it actually on my screen I've realised how much shorter it is. Because obviously before it used to like basically come out of the screen if you know what I mean. Um, I do quite like it, it's just taking some getting used to because they did some short bits. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's why I'm playing with it a lot because I'm just trying to get used to it. Because I had my hair cut yesterday actually, so this is the first day um, like trying to style it myself and things like that. Um, but anyway, next up today we have Trisardi My Name. Now I know I've mentioned this one a lot on my channel, but I simply had to mention it in this list. It's an extremely affordable a fragrance, really, really beautiful. If you enjoy the smell of makeup powder compacts, then you have to try this. You just have to try it because it's really affordable, like I say. It's this beautiful, creamy, powdery, but it's a very fine milled powder kind of smell, if you know what I mean. Um, there's some iris in here, there's vanilla, so it's slightly creamy from the vanilla. It's a really, really subtle fragrance, actually. 
Um, it doesn't have a lot of power, it doesn't have a lot of presence, but I think that is the intention of the scent. I think it's really supposed to be quite a subtle, softly spoken, um, really delicate kind of scent. I think this is the perfect kind of out the bath, out the shower kind of fragrance. It actually smells as though you've just had the most luxurious bath and you've just come out and you're really clean, you're really um, fresh, smelling really feminine, things like that. That is the smell of this fragrance basically. It's really beautiful, softly sweet, not overly sweet, um, no harsh edges whatsoever. It's very, very smooth, rounded, diffused, that kind of thing, really subtle, really beautiful. I would highly recommend for anybody who enjoys powdery scents, um, slightly, not vintage, but uh, slightly vintagey powdery fragrances, almost like in the same vein as Insolence. If you enjoy Insolence, I do think you would enjoy this. They're not hugely similar or anything like that, but they do give a similar vibe. Um, really fantastic fragrance. It's also quite sweet as well, the packaging, because I think they scented the lid, and to me the lid looks almost like um, reminiscent of uh, one of those old-fashioned atomizers, or maybe even um, those things that you powder your face with, like those makeup things, you know what I mean. Um, but the packaging itself is really special in my opinion, really nice um, kind of textured lid as well which I quite like, it's got that almost um, fabric-like nature to it and it's all around just a fantastic scent, I would highly recommend it. Um, so that's Trissardi, my name. Next up today we have this beauty here, Rihanna Nude. Now I did used to own um, Rebel Fleur, the notorious uh, fragrance which is probably more popular than this one. It's quite iconic, the Rebel Fleur, the original Rihanna scent. Um, that one was a bit too much for me, unfortunately. It was slightly nauseating. It was a nice fragrance, but it was just, um, to me, it was very much like a clubbing fragrance. Um, so I ended up, that, that one found a new home, but I did decide to hang on to this one here. So this one is a lot softer than the original Rebel Fleur. This one is very creamy, it almost reminds me of like apricot cream, a kind of whipped cream apricot dessert type thing. There's some jasmine sand back in here, other white florals, so it's really really creamy with those white florals in there, really really feminine. Despite this one being quite a soft scent, it's actually very strong I've noticed. Um, I don't know if that can be said for all of Rihanna's fragrances, maybe you could let me know in the comments. The only two I've tried are uh, this one, Rihanna Nude and Rebel Fleur, I haven't tried any of her other ones, so I'm not sure if the lasting power and the strength is consistent throughout all of our perfumes, but certainly from the two I've tried, um, they've both been really very strong. So this is just such a pleasant scent, you guys. It's really very nice considering the price and things like that. Creamy, white florals, soft, apricotty. Maybe slightly vanilla. I don't know if the sweetness is coming from a vanilla note in here, I'm not quite sure. But overall a stunning fragrance and I would say the more it dries down, um, the more it balances out. So initially when you spray it, it's a bit stronger and it's um, really quite sweet and um, just very strong. And then the more that it dries down onto your skin, it mellows out and um, I think more of the florals might come out and it just kind of evens out a lot more. So. The dry down and the development of this fragrance is really very enjoyable. It's just a fantastic scent actually. Again, I think this would be a perfect fragrance to wear out of the shower, out of the bath. Just a really nice clean, kind of feminine, creamy, white floral, sweet scent and it's really fantastic. Something I've noticed with this one as well actually is it's such a nice easy reach. So the amount of times I've reached for this one when I just don't know what to wear, um, of an evening if I'm not really doing much and I just want something to throw on um, to boost my mood, just something to smell really nice, I often reach for this one actually. It's really very nice from that point of view. Um, just a fantastic affordable fragrance. So that is Rihanna Nude. Next up today we have this beauty here, La Rive in Woman Red. Um, it's a beautiful, affordable, everyday kind of fragrance. This one is really quite fantastic. To me, it smells almost like a really girly, sweet kind of shampoo type of smell. Just so clean, so sweet. Not too sweet either, I might add. It's sweet and it's pleasant, but it's really not overly sweet. It's nowhere near 
um, the same level of sweetness as your Viva La Juicy's, for example. It's nowhere near that kind of sweet, but it's just a really nice level of sweetness in there. Nice clean shampoo kind of smell. And this is a really nice easy reach kind of fragrance. If I'm in a rush to leave the house and I just can't think what perfume to wear, I will just reach for this one and you're good to go because this one suits pretty much any occasion. It's perfect for work actually. This is one of my um, most reached for perfumes for work just because of how clean, fresh, on the ball. I wouldn't actually say that it smells like fresh as in a fresh fragrance. This doesn't smell fresh as in bright citrusy notes or anything like that. It's not fresh in that way. It's just fresh in the way that it smells like a nice um, feminine, girly shampoo, freshly showered, sweet, floral, that kind of that kind of smell. And it's really very pleasant, very, very affordable. This is, I think, uh, 90 mils and you can get this for around 13, 14 pounds or something like that. So really affordable, really fantastic. Um, oh, and I'll also just mention that this is a dupe fragrance. So this is a dupe for uh, Armani Si Passione. So I don't know how similar it smells to Si Passione because I haven't tried that fragrance. Um, but certainly this is a really nice uh, perfume in its own right. I don't feel the need to purchase Si Passione because obviously it's more expensive and this one is really very pleasant. So for me personally, I'm just going to be holding on to this one and I'm not going to bother with the original fragrance that it's a dupe of just because of how beautiful this one is. It doesn't smell cheap to me. It has really good lasting power. It lasts all day for sure. Um, really nice clean floral shampoo kind of smell with a slight um, a slight fruitiness in there as well. I think there might be some berries or something going on in this scent but it's overall very pleasant and I absolutely love it. So that is La Rive in Woman Red. Next up today we have the beautiful Ariana Grande Cloud. This is an absolutely fantastic fragrance. It's very well known um, on YouTube and Instagram and things like that. It's very well known for being a good perfume which is also very affordable. Uh, many have compared this to Baccarat Rouge 540 which uh, to be quite honest with you I don't I don't think they smell similar at all but they have that similar um, kind of a uh, sponge sugar type of feeling to them. They're both very light sweet scents and they have the same texture and things like that. Um, but I wouldn't say that they smell like hugely similar or anything like that. But this is a beautiful fragrance in its own right and it's really very enjoyable. Oh my goodness. It's sweet, it's like tonic, it's like whipped cream, coconut cream. Oh my goodness, it's so nice. It kind of has that almost airy, plasticky smell to it as well, um, in a sweet way. It's kind of hard to explain, but it's really pleasant. <sighs> I think there's some bergamot in here in the top notes. There's some lavender in this fragrance as well, which makes it quite unusual and really nice for bedtime as well. There's some vanilla in here, the coconut, like I said. Whipped cream. Just such a beautiful, um, unique kind of sweet scent. There's actually nothing else quite like this in my opinion. Really very unique. I think for a celebrity scent as well, it's fantastic how they've managed to create something so unique because sometimes you can find a few celebrity scents that smell similar. But this fragrance to me is really very unique and special in its own way. Really pleasant fragrance. As you can see, I've worn a fair bit of it actually. Um, I think I bought it maybe just under a year ago, that kind of thing, and I've used it quite a lot. This is kind of a really nice go-to casual fragrance for just around the house, like going to bed, things like that. Um, I wouldn't say that it smells refined or anything like that. It doesn't smell, um, it's not the kind of fragrance I would wear if I was actually going out anywhere. Um, I mean, maybe I would, I don't know. But to me, this is perfect for just around the house, especially for evenings or if you're trying to relax because it has that lavender note in there, which is perfect for relaxation. It has that creamy lactonic quality to it, the, cr the creamy whipped cream, the sweetness. And it's just all around a fantastic affordable fragrance. So that's Ariana Grande Cloud. And last up today, but by no means least, in fact, I think I may have saved the best to last, we have Sofia by Sofia Vergara. Now, I am truly gobsmacked by this fragrance. I really cannot say enough good things about it. You may have heard me mention it in previous videos. It is just fantastic, you guys. It's probably, out of all the ones um, we've spoken about today, I would say this one smells the classiest, 
This one does not smell cheap at all. Um, this one, to me, it's like a better version of Coco Mademoiselle, in my opinion. And I read a comment um, previously where someone mentioned that uh, to them it's a cross between Coco Mademoiselle and La Via Belle, and I actually really agree with that. Um, that's probably the best way to sum this up, actually. It has those sweet, um, kind of carefree, girly qualities of La Via Belle, but it has that kind of uh, classiness that Coco Mademoiselle has. It has that kind of slightly clean, um, professional, feminine, Mm, it's just so so good. I can't believe how nice this fragrance is for the price particularly. To me this smells exactly like designer quality scents at a fraction of the price and um, it's just stunning you guys. Slightly citrusy, I think there might be some bergamot in here. There's that plum note. Slightly juicy, fruity, <sighs> feminine, professional. But also kind of playful. This is a really really versatile fragrance so you could wear this to work, you could wear it on a date, you could wear it out to brunch with your friends. It's truly one of those um, fantastic versatile scents that does it all and I just absolutely love it. I can't really pick up on any florals in here, I don't know which florals are in this fragrance. Maybe some rose? I actually can't remember. Um, I don't know which florals are in here but Overall, it's just a really classy, um, kind of feminine, clean, sweet, rounded, slightly fruity, juicy scent, and I'm just obsessed with it. I think it's definitely a must try. I get a 100ml bottle for around about the £20 mark, I think. Um, and it's just absolutely stunning. Please let me know in the comments if you agree um, or if you think it's overhyped, just let me know. But I personally think that this one truly deserves the hype and I absolutely love it. Uh, the performance is also very good. This one lasts all day. Um, it's not obnoxious by any means. It's not projecting too much, but it definitely has a nice level of projection um, and it lasts a really nice length of time. It's truly a fantastic fragrance. So that is Sofia by Sofia Vergara. So those are my top 10 perfumes which you can purchase for under £30. Please let me know in the comments what you think, share your thoughts, I always love hearing from you guys. I really hope you enjoyed today's video, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, bye!